and I'm telling her everything. Now put that thing away and hear me out. <sighs> What do you want? Pixar is known for including Easter eggs in its films, and its most recent offering, Turning Red, which debuted on Disney Plus on March 11th, is no exception. From meticulously placed stickers in bathroom stalls to text concealed in the film's end credits, Domi Shi's film contains a plethora of subtle references that are easy to miss if you're not looking for them. Turning Red, for example, includes references to Pixar's prior films, such as Finding Nemo and Coco, as well as its upcoming effort, Lightyear, which will be released in June. Don't worry if you didn't notice them all while watching. In this video, we will show all the tiny details you missed watching Turning Red, so you don't miss out on anything. So let's move towards the video. Oh, is it gone? For now, but if I get too excited, it'll come right back. Ow, Abby, what the heck? Miriam's skateboard has Lightyear stickers on it. She acknowledged there would be one or two mentions to Lightyear in Turning Red in an interview with Entertainment Weekly on March 10th, because it's customary for Pixar to tease its upcoming feature in its current project. The Lightyear Easter eggs appear straight at the start of the film, when Mei Lee and her best friends Miriam, Priya, and Abby are strolling through Toronto's streets. Miriam is seen holding a skateboard with some amazing Lightyear stickers on the rear during the scene. The first is a set of wings that resemble the Space Ranger insignia, while the second is of Socks, the robot cat that will be Buzz's friend in the future film. Anyway, who cares what stupid evil Tyler or anyone else thinks? This is gonna be my year. <laughs> Nothing's gonna stop this chain from... <laughs> Drawings of Luca in May's notebook. This Easter egg is a little more evident, but May's doodles in her notebook of Devon, the Daisy Mart clerk, as a merman are evocative of Luca and Alberto's sea monster designs in Luca. On shore, a baby sea monster morphs into a human boy, similar to how May transforms into a large red panda when she becomes very upset in the 2021 Pixar feature. <laughs> Bruce Lee quote, May's math slash gym teacher urges the children to be water during a game of dodgeball, a reference to the famous Bruce Lee water quotations. Sign for the restaurant, Bao. Years before she made her feature directorial debut with Turning Red, she directed a Pixar short film called Bao, which tells the story of a steamed bun who comes to life. In 2018, the film was released before Incredibles 2. When May is introducing herself to us on the bus at the beginning of Turning Red, a sign for a Bao restaurant can be seen in the background. May's mother Ming also offers her dumplings to eat as a snack later in the film, which is a charming tribute to Xi's past work. Fluffy! You're so fluffy! I've always wanted a tail. Priya, Abby, quit it! May, what the heck happened? It's just some. You know. May's notebook has a burrow sticker on it. Burrow, a story about a young rabbit who seeks to build the burrow of her dreams, is another Pixar short film mentioned in Turning Red. A charming burrow sticker can be seen on the back of May's book during the scene in May's room as Ming is looking through her daughter's notebook, packed with Devon drawings. Winter Olympics in 1980. A poster for the 1980 Winter Olympics can be found behind May's math teacher. The young U.S. men's ice hockey team famously defeated the Soviet Union squad in the 1980 Winter Olympics, earning the nickname Miracle on Ice. Similarities with anime characters Turning Red's animation style is highly influenced by anime. It's comparable to Sailor Moon and other anime characters when Mei embraces her red panda powers and soars into the air. Even though this might not exactly be a detail you might have missed, but we believe it still deserved a mention. Uh, no! Tyler! Uh, who's, who's Tyler? Uh, I don't know what to- are a four Tony? <laughs> Sticker from Finding Nemo in the girls' bathroom. Remember the scene in Turning Red where May and her pals are discussing their plans to visit their favorite boy band, Four Town, in concert in the girls' bathroom? Well, if you look closely, one of the restroom stalls has a tiny Nemo sticker on it. You'll miss it if you blink. Four is the worst number. When May's family notices the fours in the sky in preparation for the Four Town concert, her grandmother remarks that it is the worst number. Because of the way it's spoken, the number four is considered unlucky in Chinese numerology. Only the tone of four and death differs when spoken. From Coco, Papel Picado. May unintentionally knocks with two people strolling down the street after she changes into a red panda for the first time at school and is attempting to find her way home. Papel Picado, colorful sheets of tissue paper, hangs near a house in the backdrop of this image. The decoration can also be seen in the Pixar film Coco from 2017. Abby, hit me. Oh! Uh, <sighs> 
Oh my gosh! Escapula t-shirt. Aside from the papel picado, turning red contains another homage to Coco. Were you aware of it? When May and her friends witness a boy with black hair and eye makeup in their school hallway, it's hiding in plain sight. The kid is wearing a green t-shirt that says Escapula, a fictional music group that features in Coco's Battle of the Band scene. Pizza Planet Mobile. Yes, in turning red, you completely missed the legendary Pizza Planet truck from Toy Story. Here's when you'll be able to catch it. May transforms into her panda form in order to make it to Four Towns concert on time after she decides not to complete the right that will permanently seal away her panda powers. A Pizza Planet truck can be seen parked on the street in the background as she runs toward the Sky Dome for the concert. I'm going to the concert! Luxo Ball. She teased that the yellow Luxo Ball, which has appeared in every Toy Story film as well as a number of other Pixar films, would appear in Turning Red, in addition to the Lightyear connection. Fans have spotted the Easter egg meticulously buried in a pool at Tyler's birthday party now that the film is out. Brown Rabbit. A brown bunny can be seen on the notebook May is trying to hide from her mother. This is a reference to the Pixar short Burrow, which starred a young rabbit trying to create the burrow of her dreams in the year 2020. Teen Wolf 19. May's realization that she's a red panda for the first time in the bathroom mirror is reminiscent of Scott's realization that he's a wolf for the first time in the bathroom mirror in Teen Wolf 1985. Scott and May strive to keep their parents from seeing them in both situations. Who must protect your delicate petals and clean them regularly? Oh, my porridge! Gin. Stacy. When May first transforms into a red panda at school and flees into the bathroom, you can see that the girl who emerges from the stall, Stacy, is wearing an insulin pump. Susan Fong, the film's technical supervisor who has had type 1 diabetes since she was 4 years old, requested that people with diabetes be featured in the film. Ming, Wu, and May's aunts all wear green, and it's particularly noticeable at the start of May's ceremony. Green is exactly across from red in color theory, making them complementary. Despite the fact that they have exiled their red pandas, the color red is still complementary to them. You ready? Let's do this. Hello! Welcome, Welcome to our temple! Yes. And things at the temple have never been better. Miriam, Priya, and Abby all wear colors that complement each other. In fact, Miriam, Priya, and Abby all wear colors that are complementary to one another, symbolizing their amazing connection. Because they are opposite each other on the color wheel, Miriam's characteristic green and May's red are complementary hues, as are Abby's iconic purple and Priya's yellow. Toronto Landmarks Several notable Toronto landmarks can be seen throughout Turning Red, but one of the most well-known is the CN Tower, which is is brilliantly depicted when Red Panda May, Miriam, Abby, and Priya celebrate collecting enough money for the four town tickets on Tyler's roof. Red Panda May Meltdown When May returns to her room after all of her belongings have been removed, claw and paw marks from her previous Red Panda May Meltdown can be seen on the walls. More claw and paw prints can be seen on the floor in a later scene. Thomas! Okay, sure, May! It'll be on me! The snacks, the tunes... Oh. You're my jam, girl! Four Town Reference Maylin is wearing Ming's distinctive blazer from the movie as she presents her presentation about why she should be permitted to see Four Town in concert. We are especially fascinated by May's comparisons of Four Town to classical musicians such as Mozart. A113 Every Pixar film contains an Easter egg called A113. It's a nod to the animation student's classroom number at the California Institute of the Arts, where several Pixar employees studied. In Turning Red, the number appears in two separate locations. When May and her family are attempting to perform the ritual on Ming, the Easter egg is first noticed at the Sky Dome. During the film's end credits, it's shown again on a Four Town concert ticket. Thanks for watching the complete video. If you enjoyed our content, please smash the like button, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos just like this. Check out some of our other videos also. I'll never not be your ride or die. Alright!